What's the best known sentence from the Bible? Most people would say it's John 3.16. A lot of people learned this when they were a child. It simply says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now the great thing about this sentence is that really this is the encapsulation of the whole message of the Bible in one sentence. And you'll notice that there are four positive action words in the sentence. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loved, so he gave. I believe, so I have. Now, where I come from, there are a lot of folks, and they quote this verse very differently. Maybe not out loud, but in their mind and heart, this is how they think the verse reads. For God so loved the world. They've got that right. They know that God loves the world. That he gave his only begotten son. They believe that God sent his son into the world, the Lord Jesus that whoever believes in him, and they say, yeah, uh, Christianity involves faith. you got to have faith. you got to believe. But then that's where the verse changes. And they insert words like, whoever believes and attends church regularly, gets baptized, sings in the choir, uh, does good works, gives money to charitable causes, whatever. They add all these provisos into the sentence, and then at the end, they say something like, you know, we're hoping for the best and we, we think we'll probably make it into heaven. That is not what the verse says. What God is calling us to do is, first of all, to be honest with him about our sin. He wants us to come clean. Every relationship is based on honesty. He just wants us to be honest that our sin has come between us and God. The Bible says that. It's separated us from God. And the reason Jesus came was to place himself between the judgment that we deserved from God and us, protect us from the wrath of God. And when he died on the cross, God put our sin on Jesus and punished his son so we could go free. But in order for that to be good for us, we have to agree that we're the sinners Jesus died to save. And we have to agree that when Jesus said it's finished, that's what he meant, that it's all done. There's nothing for us to contribute. All he wants us to do is to believe. And that means we transfer our trust from whatever we're trusting right now. Our good works, what our pastor says, you name it, fill in the blanks. We transfer our trust from that alone to Jesus. So if he doesn't save me, I've had it because he's the only savior. I'm counting on him to save me. And the Bible then says that if I do that, if I believe... I have present possession. I don't wait till I die to find out if it works. I have joy and peace in believing. The moment I put my trust in him, he gives me the assurance that it's all settled. And I have everlasting life. So here's the verse again. Listen as if your soul depended on it, because it does. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is the best news you will ever hear.